ਪੰਜਾਬੀ ਰੀਡਰ 6A 2019 ਐਡੀਸ਼ਨ ਲੈਸਨ 12 ਵਿੱਚ ਤੁਹਾਨੂੰ ਜੀ ਆਇਆਂ ਨੂੰ ਅੱਜ ਦੇ ਲੈਸਨ ਵਿੱਚ ਅਸੀਂ ਇੱਕ ਸਕਿੱਲ ਇੰਪੋਰਟੈਂਟ ਸਕਿੱਲ ਸਿਖਾਂਗੇ ਜਰਨਲ ਰਾਈਟਿੰਗ ਨਾ ਯੂ ਨੋ ਹਾਊ ਟੂ ਰਾਈਟ ਜਰਨਲ ਇਨ ਇੰਗਲਿਸ਼ ਰਾਈਟ ਨਾਟ ਅ ਪ੍ਰੋਬਲਮ ਬਟ ਹਾਊ ਡੂ ਵੀ ਰਾਈਟ ਇਨ ਪੰਜਾਬੀ just the same way you are going to have same steps that you have used in Engl- in english uh, you will have a main idea you will have um two three points to discuss and then you have a concluding sentence and that is your journal okay and topics you, there's many topics you can choose from your book has some uh, you may also have your own ideas to write okay so the writing standard is students can speak read and write simple compound and complex sentences describing people comparing things people and stating opinions directions choose one topic a week write a short composition on it make sure you have a beginning middle and end a good beginning uses the words from the topic see how one sample is written step by step now the same um, steps are written in punjabi ek visha chun ke ek choti likht likho is likht vich shuruaat vichla ate akhirla hissa hona chahida hai shuruaat is beginning middle end shuruaat karan layi vishay vichon shabad chun sakde ho hethan dekho kis tarah ek choti likht likhi gayi hai for example topic or prompt is toada man pasand khana ki hai or mera man pasand khana i can use the underlined words from the topic to start my composition and write the main idea or the topic sentence here is man pasand khana so here my topic sentence states the topic in a sentence i remember to indent the paragraph mera man pasand khana aloo di paranthi hai it really is then i have to give some details here right detail 1 to tell why this is my favorite food and give my opinion about it i add details like taste aloo di paranthi luni te karari spicy hundi hai i can write about spices to add details is which mircha masale ate hara taniya hunde han i can give my opinion to add more details to explain my topic aloo di paranthi dahi makkhan naal hor vi swad lagdi hai i can write about when i do this activity main har shnichrwar aloo wali paranthi khandi ha and then conclusion i restate my topic for the ending i can do this one just change a little bit aloo di paranthi mera man pasand khana hai so rather than saying mera man pasand khana aloo di paranthi hai i switch the words and that's a skill that's a writing skill right i don't need more information i can just change the order of words to make sense and then earn some points in that so a finished journal will look like this the daman pasand khana ki hai remember i am indenting it and then here is my topic sentence here are my details and here is my conclusion i just copy them from here and all i need is 55 words and i am going to get a plus on this because i didn't make any mistake okay so this is how you are going to write a journal now let's see if you can write one together sick at the bullying the code as such so we read about the um, the bullying essay and now from that we can write some um, uh, a, a journal here is a sample topic write a topic sentence three details and describe it that describe it and it concluding sentence remember to use adjectives adverbs and other details then translate the whole paragraph in punjabi copy the paragraph on the lines below don't forget to indent so here you go topic is damage that bullying does what what bullying da nuksan so we can say bullying da bahut nuksan hunda hai right um bullying da nuksan is topic okay topic sentence would be bullying is really bad right so this is my first sentence bullying bahut hi padi gal hai why so now i have to give some details three details why is bullying bad bullying hurts our feelings bullying makes us unhappy um what else can we say bullying is 
not fair, right? Um, so we can say bullying um, hurts our feelings. Bullying sada man dukha dindi hai. Bullying um, makes us unhappy. Bullying um, naal asi khush nahi rende. And bullying uh, is not fair, right? We said um, bullying... Um, Sade vaste teak nay, ya sade vaste bullying in saf nay, um, Jansi Horki Kasak dia, bullying sade vaste, uh, both in Uksan Karsak di Kardi hai, bullying sada kush rehenda, hak kol and di hai, right? So any of those you can write first English and then write here and then write the concluding sentence. Concluding sentence will be same one here. Bullying bohot hi khrab kal hai. Right? E nahi honi chahi Bullying nahi honi chahi Something like that. So here you will write bullying the nuksan. Here you write three damages it does, including concluding and um, topic sentence and concluding sentence. Take it, and that's that's what you will do. Then for homework, you remember we learned conjunctions, so you are going to find these conjunctions here in this paragraph. So read this paragraph, circle the conjunctions, and then go ahead and copy those conjunctions here. Right? What could be an appropriate name for writing about this about Ravjot? So read this, and here there are two of them. Uh, pick one of the topic sentences. And that's a skill you know in English. Okay? So um, this lesson is a bit hard because we are doing writing in this one and writing is never easy. Uh, make sure you um, spend time, read about bullying and write three sentences about bullying, the damages that bullying causes. You can read in English, you can Google on internet or read the previous essay and then translate them in, English, in Punjabi and that will be your journal. So good job and I will see you uh, in the next lesson very soon. Thank you so much.